So today I'm excited to share with you guys 20 fall slash Halloween decor ideas for your tiered tray. And I have never really done a whole a large video for tiered trays, so I'm super excited to share it with you. Let's get started. For this project, I'm going to be using one of those cutting boards that is new out at the Dollar Tree, and these are in the Crafter Square area. I'm going to paint the bottom with my pumpkin Waverly chalk paint, and then the top with some green Waverly chalk paint. I will list all of the products I'm using today down in the description box if you want to check them out, and if I'm able to find a link through Amazon for you to purchase them, I will do that as well. So once I get them both painted, then I'm going to go over the entire wood block with my Cashew Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to give it a really good dry brush. So I'm going for a rustic look here. Then I'm going to take one of those little Dollar Tree sponge brushes and I'm going to add some polka dots. I was trying not to add too much paint there, but then um, I did need to have like a good amount. So I got a really good polka dot. I'm going to go ahead and cover only the orange part with my polka dots. I do do the front, back and sides um, to make it look more cohesive. Once I get those all um, put on there, I do dry them with my heat gun just so I can keep going with the project. If you're not going to use a heat gun, you're going to need to let it dry a little bit because there is quite a bit of paint once you use that sponge brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and use some twine and I'm going to cover, um, just wrap it around, I would say about 10 times. And then I go ahead and cut it and then I'm going to add a bow here. I did decide to go back and use my Sharpie to go around the circles and add a few dots. And then this project is complete. For this project, we're going to be using one of the Dollar Tree ornaments that they put out for Halloween. We're using the ghost and I'm covering it with some Cashew Waverly chalk paint. I am using this little um, like shadow box type thing that I picked up at Dollar General probably in February, I think it was, um, but they sell several of these like at the Dollar Tree as well. I just popped out the back and I'm using my sanding block to get rid of all of the letters and I did take off the 3D flower that was on there. So once I get that all taken off, I'm using a regular glue stick here and I'm just going to glue my paper onto the back here and then I'm going to pop it back into the frame. So I like to use a glue stick here. You guys tell me all the time, Mod Podge, I can use it with um, some water, which I'm going to do later in this video. Um, but for here, I decided for the glue stick. So then I'm going to take my Sharpie again, and I'm just going to add some lines and some dots around the ghost. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue him back into, it's actually a girl ghost, I guess. But we're going to glue her back into the box. And I went ahead and used the thing that was um, popping out the flower for the 3D. I went ahead and glued that back in the box and I'm just going to glue the ghost onto that piece. I added a purple bow to the top of her head where the hole was and then this project is complete. So I'm just popping in here to see how you're enjoying the video so far and if you're liking it to go down hit that like button and let's jump back into the projects. So I'm taking a wood cube that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use some pumpkin by Waverly chalk paint and cover the entire block. Once I get that covered, I'm using one of these wood stem pieces from the Dollar Tree. They come in a bag of like 10, 15 or so. I've used them a lot. I love the way they look for pumpkin stems. Then I'm going to go ahead and cover my whole block again with my Cashew Waverly chalk paint. I am obviously making a pumpkin here with this 
Um, I definitely think <laughs> dry brushing before you glue the stem on. I don't know what I was thinking. I just was wanting to make a pumpkin. <laughs> so once I get all of my paint dry brushed on there, then I'm going to take some raffia um, that I had in my stash. They do sell raffia at the Dollar Tree, also Hobby Lobby, Michaels, really anywhere. I love to use raffia. It definitely gives it a more country look. I'm just going to tie it into a knot at the top and then I'm going to trim it off. Once I get it trimmed off, I feel like it still needs a little something. So my go-to for when I feel like it's missing something is always buttons. So I add two buttons here up at the top and then this project is complete. So I saw these treat bags at the Dollar Tree and I thought that they would actually make a really cute banner, but I never actually made the banner. So they were just in my stash. I'm pretty sure they came out this year, but I thought that they would look really cute on the actual house cut out from the Dollar Tree. So that's what we're doing here. I just went ahead and traced it out on like I laid it on top of the bag, traced it out and cut it out, and now I'm applying it here to my wood block again with my glue stick. I'm just a creature of habit, guys. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna try the water technique later on in this video. But I go ahead and I just lay it on there, make sure it's on really good. I do go ahead and sound, sand around all the edges to make sure that there are no hangovers. And then um, once I have that done, I decide to go ahead and add a bow to the top uh, by the chimney. I thought this turned out so adorable. I think it's so fun to use like their gift cards, their gift bags. They have so many cute ones and you can do a lot of really fun things with them. But once I get the bow on there, then this project is complete. So we're making a book stack here and I'm just using actually three individual pieces of spare wood. Um, you can also use the crates that they have at Dollar Tree. I've made a lot of book stacks with those crates and they turn out amazing. I just covered them in each of the paint colors I showed there at the beginning, gold, like a sage, and a blue. Some colors I've been really loving for fall this year. I wrapped some twine around them and I'm just gluing that twine down at the bottom. I did feel like this twine made them a little wobbly just because it ends up being a little bulky there on the side. Um, I do love how it looks though, so um, I don't mind because it's just sitting in my tray, but if you're sitting these out, you know, just be mindful they might be a little crooked. Once I get that twine glued around the book stack, I decide to go ahead and add a leaf. So this leaf is one of those... Um, cutouts that they have for the ornaments. I'd already covered it with paper for a separate DIY. And once I get that glued to the top up here, then this project is complete. This project is more of a hack than a DIY, but I'm taking one of those boxes from the Dollar Tree and I had these leftover black beads. You could also um, just use anything that was black that's going to stick out here. Um, but I'm just going to glue them to the sides to give it the Frankenstein look. And then I took some black felt from the Dollar Tree. I just stuff it in here to give him some hair. And then this project is complete. No 
So for this project, I found this like wood hanging piece over in the like toy area of Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna use the wood part and I'm taking a napkin that they had out for the fall season. I cut out the pattern that they had and these were like the long uh, rectangle napkins. So here it is. I'm gonna try the technique you guys keep telling me. I have a feeling that I didn't do it correctly, but I put my Mod Podge on the actual wood piece. Then I'm taking the water and I'm spraying it on the napkin and then I'm going to put the napkin on to the Mod Podge. So I will say that this turned out at, like, at least a lot better than like some of my other decoupage have turned out. I love to use napkins because they seem to be a tad bit more forgiving than like the paper for some reason. I don't get as many wrinkles, but I did actually really like the water technique. I'm going to try it again. I did end up with a few little snags and wrinkles in there, but they're not ones that you can totally see. So once I get it all on there and dried, um, I do go ahead and spray just a tiny bit more water on it and then I just sort of press it down. I don't actually move it um, just because I don't want to tear the napkin. But I really love this project and I really loved how this turned out. So thank you everyone who commented on my other videos telling me to try this. I will definitely keep trying it with paper next time. So I'm taking some of that fake leather ribbon that they had at Dollar Tree. I glued it to the back to look like a hanger and then I'm taking some of that vase filler, gluing it to the front so that they look like knots and then this project is complete. So I'm taking one of those wood blocks from the Dollar Tree. I covered it with some cashew Waverly chalk paint and now I'm dry brushing some pumpkin Waverly chalk paint on the top. I am using some water slide hippo decal paper. This stuff is amazing. The company sent it to me a couple of uh, videos ago. I tried it out. I loved it. I made some potion bottles with it. If you missed that video, there is a full tutorial on how to use the paper and I will link that up here in the cards and in my description box, but it's amazing. So this is a free printable that I printed out on that paper. I just slid it over here, let it dry. Then I'm going to take some raffia, glue it up at the top where the hole is, and then this project is complete. little house came from a garage sale. If you don't have a little house like this, they also have those house cutouts at the Dollar Tree, which would work perfect for this project as well. And they also fit in the tiered tray. I used one earlier in this video, but all I'm going to use is my glue stick, put a generous amount of glue there on the front, and I'd already traced this ahead of time. So I cut it out and I'm just gluing it to the front. I did not repaint this because I just picked some paper that kind of matched the paint that was already there. And then I just covered up the image that was there. So this paper is from Hobby Lobby. It's in a fall paper pack that they have over there. It's amazing. If you missed the paper cone wreath that I made with this paper pack, I will list that up in the cards here, but it was amazing and the paper is gorgeous. So once I get that twine, I just wrap it around the house. I go ahead and glue it in place in the back. And then I took some of the little pine cones and pumpkins that they had in a potpourri set at the Dollar Tree and I just sort of arranged it there to my liking. Um, I just, I think I added like two pine cones and a couple of the pumpkins. The pumpkins were adorable. I thought I'd never seen little tiny pumpkins like that. And anyway, they're adorable. <laughs> so I go ahead and I just kind of arrange them in a way that I like. And then this project is complete. So for this project, I'm using one of those mason jar signs they have at the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and removed the twine and then I'm using my sanding block and I'm just gonna get all the glitter off. So one of the most like 
underused items I think at the Dollar Tree are their cards. Like they have some pretty amazing cards there for a dollar. These were out for Halloween. I'm going to use another one in this project or in this video as well. But this one said trick or treat and I just went ahead and traced around the front of the card with the mason jar and then I cut it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and just glue it to the front here. This one was like a uh, doubled image like there was a paper image and then the actual like 3d cut out I did go ahead and glue both of those on there and then I'm going to go ahead and just attach the twine that was already wrapped around this mason jar I glue it in the back I wrap it around and I didn't quite put it in the right place in the back so I have some excess no worries I just fold it back over and glue it down and you can't even tell so I decide the top is missing something I add a few orange buttons because they are my go-to filler and then this project is complete So I feel like I've done the most painting I've done in quite some time in this video, but this is one of those cars from the toy section over at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to paint the tires black and then I'm painting the whole truck green. So I did glue the tires like against one side of the car. That way they weren't moving around and it was much easier to paint. Since it's sitting in a tiered tray, I didn't think it would really make that big of a difference. So once I get the green paint on there I go over the entire thing with some cashew waverly chalk paint and I have to tell you guys a funny so when I was painting this my son was um, kind of in the room with me and he's like oh wow you're making it look vintage and then he's like you know what mom I really thought that all of the paint was just chipped off of there <laughs> he didn't realize it was actually painted on which made me feel good because it obviously looks vintage so then I'm taking these pumpkin picks that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I just removed the pumpkin parts off of the top and I'm going to hot glue them onto the truck. So I just do like various patterns. It looks like it's carrying them. I thought that those little tiny orange pumpkins were so adorable out of that potpourri kit that I decided to add a couple of those orange ones here into the truck. If you're recreating this, I think it looks super cute just with the cream colored ones, but I don't know. I just had a, like I fell in love with those little tiny pumpkins but once I get those all glued on then this project is complete So for this project, we're using one of the shadow boxes from Dollar Tree. I did go ahead and pop off the 3D item that was in there. And then we're going to use some scrapbook paper. This was from like a scrapbooking calendar, I think. But you can pick up lots of really fun um, scrapbook paper over at Hobby Lobby. And even if you pay full price, it's like 59 cents, which is a pretty good deal. Once I have that cut out and glued on, I go ahead and pop it back into the frame and I don't paint the frame this time because my paper was black and white. So I felt like it went really well with the outside of the frame, but you could totally paint that if you wanted to. So these Happy Halloween cutouts were new this year at, Ho or at um, Hobby Lobby at Dollar Tree and I, um, at least they were new to my store. So I picked them up, I think there's like three to a pack and we're just going to cover them this one piece with the pumpkin Waverly chalk paint and then I go ahead and go over it with my cashew Waverly chalk paint for the dry brushing. So this was inspired by like some high-end decor stores or I see like they have those 3D shadow boxes where there is something like kind of popping out of it. We're going to glue these on the edges only and then this project is complete. So this is more of a hack than a DIY, but you can pick up any of the Dollar Tree picture frames and add scrapbook paper, or you can add, um, 
you know, gift bags or anything like that. And it makes a super cute decor idea for a really cheap. This one I went ahead and turned back over. You could leave it just with the scrap of paper. I decided to add another one of those leaves that I had already done with a coordinating paper from the paper pack. I just glued it to the front on the side like it's popping out. And then this project is complete. No. So this hack is really easy. All you're gonna do is take one of those Halloween signs that they had in the two pack. I used some tumbling tower blocks, I think three of them. I glued it together, painted it black, and glued it to the back for a stand. I took another one of those black baubles, that's kind of a vase filler, filled in the hole, and then this project is complete. So this project is one of those rolling pins. I've only made like one other set of rolling pins during the summertime. I made a whole lemon vignette and that is, uh, I made some rolling pins to go with it. But all I did was paint the ends with my green Waverly chalk paint and using some more of that fall paper pack from Hobby Lobby, I'm going and gluing this pumpkin paper around the rolling pin. So I just measure, I, it's nothing technical, I just wrap it around and then I cut I go ahead and glue it on there um, using my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some raffia I tie the raffia in a shoelace bow and then once I tie uh, the shoelace bow I go ahead and glue it on to the rolling pin and then I decide that it needs a little bit more obviously <laughs> that's me with my buttons so I get out the buttons and I glue some buttons into the middle of my raffia bow and then this project is complete So I already had this crate that was painted with white Waverly chalk paint and then distressed with some antique Waverly wax. I went ahead and took another one of those greeting cards, removed the pumpkin from the top, and then I put a generous amount of hot glue, glue it into the middle of this crate, and then this project is complete. I've been really inspired lately by Country Charm by Tracy on YouTube. If you've never seen her channel, I'll link it down in the description box. But she is an amazing toll painter. She also does a lot of rustic DIYs, which is kind of my thing as well. So I've been crushing on her and she's been really inspiring me to try and get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'd always wanted to take toll painting classes and so um, I feel like she's inspiring me to at least give it a try. So for this project, I covered this wood around from the Dollar Tree with some pumpkin by Waverly chalk paint. Then I just measure to the middle of the circle and I'm using this stencil to give my wood round a pumpkin face. This stencil I picked up at a garage sale several years ago but you can find any kind of pumpkin face stencils online as well. But in her projects she uses a lot of sharpie where she goes around and traces her designs and so I was like really inspired to do that for this video. I did it with a ghost earlier too so if you go check out her channel like let her know that I sent you over there um, I just really love her stuff so I took some black ribbon from the Dollar Tree I made a little simple bow because we're making a cute girly pumpkin here I glued it to the top and then this project is complete So 
So today's video was made with all stuff that I already had around my house or in my stash and I can't believe I was able to come up with all 20 projects without buying anything. My husband has uh, surprised me with a crafting studio and now I can have all of my supplies in one area and I can't even begin to tell you guys how much money that's saving me and how much stuff I didn't even realize I had. Um, I will post that in my Instagram stories here pretty soon so you guys can take a look at what he created for me. Me. it's amazing so this project was just super simple I took some scrap wood I had in my garage I painted it with some gold uh, acrylic spray paint covered the front with some more of that scrapbook paper from that scrapping packet that I got at Hobby Lobby I'm using another one of those little wood rounds that I also picked up at the Dollar Tree that packet of wood little pieces what I used one package for this all the projects in today's video then I took some raffia I wrapped it around I'm going to trim it off a little bit and then this project is complete. So this project was super simple. I just took one of those black little plastic cauldrons from the Dollar Tree that comes in like a six pack and some of those vase filler. These are the green and it's more like gold. It looks green here, but it's really gold, but they're gold and brown. I just glue them all around my pot here. If you can see over in the side, my kitty came to visit. His name is actually Kitty if you didn't see that in my Instagram story, but I'm just going to go ahead and glue them all around this cauldron and then this project is going complete. So this project is another piece of scrap wood. I'm just covering it with some Cashew Waverly chalk paint and I had picked up this uh, like wood uh, wrapping I guess you would say at Hobby Lobby when there was a clearance sale I did make a wreath out of this same uh, material and I'll link that video up here in the cards but I kept this together and all I'm gonna do is glue it to the front of this wood block so it just happened to be pretty much the exact size that I needed I'm gonna glue it there and then I have a small gap up at the top I glue one of those wood pieces again up to the top and then I took some Spanish moss and I'm just kind of filling in where I had the gap between the wood pieces and the actual wood block. Once I get the Spanish moss all glued around there, then this project is complete. So here we are at the end of the video. I'm so grateful that you stayed along for this video with me. I hope you enjoyed the projects. If you did, check out this other video right here uh, for some more inspiration for Halloween. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video.